It's a time. China time with a package from China. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in a new package from China, we're going to take a close look at an, like I said, a really unique product. Something maybe you have never seen before. So this is a cartridge with a game system built in. And it is one of these unique products that is more like a collectible item, but it also can play some games, of course. So it's from the brand MindKids. MindKids makes a lot of different products or releasing under their name. They made multi-game cards, consoles, clones, you name it, everything you can think about. So inside the box yourself, you're going to get this cartridge. At first you would think, hey, it is a multi-game card. Nope, my friends. This is the system itself. It also comes with an anonymous switch and we're going to get even the region system that you can choose. Very interesting, something you don't see very often. Input 5 volt DC with a micro USB. We're going to get two USB ports, seems to be 3.0 and reset and an AV out. Yep, new version, but they are still not using HDMI. Little bit of a bummer. Okay, so let's do a quick unboxing. I like the box itself, by the way. So if you're like into this collecting, I think you will be very happy. The AV out cable. It seems we're going to get the tiny jack. A little bit of a little bit of annoying. If you can, if you're missing the controller itself or the cable, it's really hard to find a new one. The controllers. So the controllers are like translucent with a normal black sticker at the front, and they feel like real good quality. And they're not even smelling chemical. So that is very unique. Here we're going to get the. Power supply, just a basic 5 volt power supply, nothing special. Of course, we're also going to need the micro USB cable. Otherwise, we can't give this device any juice. And of course, controller number two. They're just USB. You can see, like, not the 3.0 port like with the other one. But on overall, I think these controls will play just fine. And they also include turbo buttons. All right, so let's connect the device with the AV out function. Yeah, I know some people wanted to see this device on a CRT. Maybe you can make like extended videos about that. Let's plug it in here. Let's get myself a USB cable. We can of course use the USB if you want to from the television. It doesn't have enough juice. Otherwise, we're going to need the adapter. So the biggest downside that you're going to get is this is going to be like a freaking cable nightmare. So normally with a console, we're going to get the connection from the back. But this, oh boy, this is a cable nightmare to the maximum level. Okay, so let's power it on. And let's take a close look at the menu, because that, there are not a lot of games, but I'm curious about the collection itself. Alright, so let's take a close look at the list itself. I have no idea where this music is from. Okay, so there are a lot of familiar games on it. Oh, by the way, we don't have a quick load, quick save function, like with the original NES Mini Classic. It's just old school. So that's it. That's the list. So I already mentioned that there is a switch on here. They can switch between Paul and the other region. So let's check out if it works. Menu. This is Paul. Let's go to the other settings. It sounds indeed a little faster. Okay, so let's try a game. Let's choose Adventure Island. Okay, same game. I can hear a lot of interference, by the way. And let's go to the other region now. But there was a significant difference between the speed of the games. So from now on, I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, so let's see how the quality is with this game. The control plays just like an original controller. It's just superb. Crap. 
Come here, stupid thing. Crap. So the games itself seems to be playing just fine. I did notice like the colors are a little bit off, but it's due of the AV out. And I fell for it again. We don't have a quick load and quick save function, but I tried out the games that has the save option inside the game itself. And you can see like with this game, it seems to be running just fine. And also when it comes to the save function. So yes, people, we can save with this weird clone cartridge. All right, so let's disconnect this cartridge game system and let's open it up because I am curious what are we going to get in the inside. Yep, it's translucent so we can see some parts, but just wanted to open it up and see how it is with the save function. For example, you can see like it seems to be working, but is there a battery inside? Because I'm not a big fan of those things because if it's going to be like a dead battery, you're going to lose your freaking save files. So that is something we're going to take a close look at the inside. Okay, let's remove the three parkers. And let's very gently pry it open and let's see if we can manage to check inside because I want to know. Oh crap, the downside is this is just a sticker. So we need to remove it very gently and then we can open it up. Okay, so I do like the shell format. And if you need to open it up and yep, there is a battery in here. So if you need to replace the battery itself, because I don't think they will go up to three, four years or something like that, that I read somewhere. Oh, you need to remove the sticker a couple of times. So the construction wise, I am not a big fan of it, but let's take a close look at this. Oh crap, of course, wake it. Just do it like that. After that, it will not stick anymore. God damn, damn it. Stupid sticker. It's always going to get like that. Damn it. But let's take a close look at the board itself. Aha, uh -huh. so this is what we're going to get inside. Now we have the sample, the main board itself. We can look into the chips itself because we couldn't read them when it was built inside the cartridge. So over here, we're going to get the special MXIC. It's a chip that is made in Taiwan. I did some digging around. So this Macrotonic, if I'm saying it correctly, from Taiwan, they are using this chip in a multi-game card sometimes here and there. And over here, we're going to get a special chip, the sharp from japan and it seems to be that this is a ram chip i looked it up with some information the other chips couldn't find any information whatsoever but what i find very interesting about this is that they are done not using like really horrible chips in overall the battery so the battery if it goes dead it's a little bit of a bummer because you need to remove the sticker every single time i think if you're doing it twice or maybe 30 times yeah the sticker at the front is going to be messed up so it's not going to be an easy swap. Of course, we can basically swap it out very easily, but opening it up, that is going to be the major problem. All right, so it's not a new product. So I think this is the day that I made it like in 2020, so last year. Ah, that's the thing that they always doing, like selling it like new models or new editions. It is not the first edition, it's the version 1.04. But okay, so let's put back in and let's talk about the final conclusion. What are my, or better said, like the final thoughts about this product. So what do I think of the classic 118 collection multi-game card slash game console in one? An interesting concept. You don't see it often. I think this is the only one they are selling. Mind kids make, let's say, better quality products. You can see it with a controller because this thing plays very good. But okay, they could make some improvements. For example, HDMI. And better way to change out the batteries because yeah, if you open it up maybe once, twice, three times, you're going to mess up your sticker. It's a little bit of a bummer if you ask me. It's cool that you have a save function, so that is a very positive thing. The piece to be made is out of a lot of good components and not like the cheap chips you see like other devices. The emulation itself, it's okay. The region switch, that is pretty cool. But what I don't like about it is the signal out with the AV out because it's pretty damn horrible. Let me know, what do you think of this concept? I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family, and I will see you in the next video.